Hello, everybody, and welcome to Talking Mons, our Digimon Adventure 2020 recap podcast. My name is JD, and joining me is Gary. Hello. Uh, unfortunately, Jeanette had to work because she works in healthcare, you know, doing the Lord's work and all that. So she uh, unfortunately couldn't be here tonight, but uh, Gary and I will carry on in her stead. Um, before we get started on this week's episode, I do want to make a quick correction um, because I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. Um, so if you listen to our last episode, I made... Uh, one of my gripes was that I was, um, what's the right word here? I, I, I was just basically saying that it didn't make sense to me that Devimon was controlling a Digimon who's a level above himself. Um, but we got a comment from, uh, on our, uh, our last episode who, uh, brought up the point that in the original series, um, Devimon had control over Andromon and Monzemon, who are both ultimate level Digimon. And uh, to be quite honest, I just completely forgot about that, but that's an excellent point. Uh, so I rescind my uh, complaints about uh, him having control over Metal Tyrannomon that I made last week. Um, and Thomas Murado, uh, I thank you for your comment on that. So uh, I completely forgot about that. So uh, that's a good point. Nice catch, listener. Yes. Um, so we are going to be talking about episode 10, 11. Which one are we on now? 10? I, I think. think 10. I lost count. Yeah, 10. <laughs> 10. Uh, which is the the steel, solid steel super evolution. Um, so this episode picks up, uh, you know, uh, after Ogremon. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty much confirmed that he's dead. Um, they they pretty much uh, all but outright said that he's dead. Um, you know, told the kids to go find the holy Digimon that it's straight ahead. Um, and so they're kind of like being chased down by Metal Tyrannomon and all these other Devimon underlings um, trying to find the holy Digimon. Um, and. Yeah, that's uh, it, it, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's it's pretty much just them running and trying to figure out what to do up until like the last couple minutes of it were like, hot damn. In this episode, s- this, this episode had a great ending. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't say they were running, they were hiding more or yeah. less. Yeah, like, I, 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 yeah, I meant, yeah. <laughs> I'm conflicted about the first half. Because I feel like it's a cop-out that they just show them hiding in a cave somewhere else. But then again, I'm sort of glad that they did that so that they saved the action for the climax. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a lot of talking, a lot of discussing up until the point where um, Ty, being the big dumb hero that he is, is basically all like, hey... You, we, we found we found where the holy Digimon most likely are. You guys go off and uh, try you know, make a run for it because they're like, if we try to walk out, Melteranamon's going to find us immediately. So Ty's basically going to run interference and basically try to distract him so that the re- everyone else can uh, make a run for it. Did um, he even say that? Because I kind of maybe I missed it. But, like, he just sort of, like, took the information from Izzy and they just left. Yeah, well, they're, like, I think they, I think the way I remember is basically, like, Ty is, uh, or or somebody is basically, it's like, okay, well, maybe if we distract Metal Tyrannomon, we can give everyone else go. And then I think it's just kind of assumed that he's the one that's going to do it. Um... I think kind of because Greymon kind of got his ass kicked last week, um, so it's it's again it's like kind of a a, a rematch like you had with Ogremon last last week, um, but yeah, uh, Greymon has this really badass fight with Mel Tyrannomon. Like 
Izzy like analyzed his weaknesses and like tells Metal Gr- or tells Graymon how to like, okay, here's where your opening is. Try to utilize that as best you can. Um, and then we get like this really rad fight where it's actually like Graymon holding his own. Um, and, you know, like really trying to take advantage of, you know, Mel Tyranimon's, uh, you know, flaws and stuff uh, up until the point where, you know, we just get straight up Metal Graymon. He just shows up and he like just destroys him. Um, I will say one of my favorite parts in the fight is where Graymon, like right before he evolves, like takes Metal Tyranimon and just backflips him. <laughs> yeah, I like the, the moment where Graymon was just uh, has his hand like right about to punch through that little, little palm gem thingy and a rocket just came straight out. <laughs> it him. like eats his arm. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. It's one thing where he get hit, but then Ty also was on top of his head and they both got smacked into a tree and then fall down like 20 stories. Dude, okay, I can I can believe that the monsters can take this kind yes, of abuse. Yes, exactly. Ty, Ty is a fourth is like a third grader. <laughs> I don't care if Ty's an adult. That kind of <laughs> he is a, he's a fragile human boy. He should be dead like ten times throughout this entire episode. Just like, look, I understand like they're trying to like say like oh they've got a bond and everything, but Ty, you don't need to be riding on top of this dinosaur's head the entire time. It, but it does make for good visuals. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Um, I am glad that when uh, Greymon Digivolve to Metagreymon, that they did not use the fancy stock footage uh, evolution. Like the first time when when uh, Agumon uh, evolved into Greymon. Like it's in the scene, it doesn't take you out from the action as he was evolving. Yeah, and like it works really well for Metal Greymon because he's basically just Greymon with a bunch of cyborg parts. He's just and, a lot bigger. And you um, saw him like sl- like grow in like in ev- like during evolution. Yeah. And like a lot of the evolutions and I I might have mentioned this on a previous episode, but like something I really like about what they're doing with evolutions uh in this show is that you're watching the Digimon like grow um, into their their newer forms? Like my my favorite one so far is like watching Tentomon evolve into Kabuterimon, where literally his arms just like morph into Kabuterimon's arm while he's still like the little bug. So you watch his entire body just like morphing and like changing into the into the um, new stage so i really liked in this one where you see it's, it's like Greymon, but you just see like the new like his cyborg parts like grafting on to him uh so you like see his metal arm take over you see him put the helmet on uh his wing grow out of his back um yeah it's just like interesting watching instead of like in the old show where a lot of them were just like flash a light and they're they're the new form i really like how they're showing more of like an actual evolution, like an actual growth in between stages. Um, Cause I think it makes for like a really interesting visual. Yeah. And well, going back to the uh, battle, I guess the conclusion of the battle, I was half like, not really half. I was fully expecting that whole fog thingy. Miasma was going to disappear with uh, Metaterranomon's defeat. Mm-hmm. Because he's like spewing it out. And if, Usually, when it comes to these kind of monsters, that whatever he they create goes along with them after they defe- they're defeated. Yeah, I mean it's it's the it's the old adage of like uh, you know you're fighting a bunch of aliens. As long as you kill the head alien or the head robot, um, you know all the other ones just kind of die immediately. So yeah, if you if you if you destroy the source, all the stuff he's put out is just gonna go away. <laughs> But I like how it did not. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it's like, um, yeah, they want to get around it. But because because there's because the way to the holy Digimon that they, you know, they had, uh, had figured out is like they need to go through like this poison swamp that's like covered in like what they call miasma. That will uh, eat that, like, books. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I it was really funny because um um when Mimi takes out like just takes one of Joe's books and like throws it in and it like immediately dissolves. I just like that it actually takes Joe a minute to realize that's what she did. <laughs> He's like, "Oh shit. Wait a second. <laughs> That's my book. There are rocks my... and sticks are out. <laughs> no, I gotta throw one of Joe's yeah. books because it's funny. <laughs> I like watching Joe freak out. It amuses me. That is not gonna be good for my skin. No. <laughs> so um so yeah, the next episode they're gonna like I guess they're really they're gonna try to figure out another way there because uh now they have to like go around. Um, they're gonna split up. They're going to split up, and I'm wondering how they're going to divide the teams up. Um, I'd like, I was trying to think about, like, okay, who's going to go with who? I'm thinking that, like, at least make for if I'm deciding these teams, I think at least Sora and Izzy need to be on separate teams because they're the only two with monsters that can fly. (laughs) So you need at at least one flyer on each team. Yes. And I feel like that both of them has a lot more personality. And if they both are in one team, the other team is going to be a little, I don't know, less Uh, interesting. My guess. (laughs) I guess depending on who Mimi goes with as well. (laughs) Yeah, I'm guessing that Ty and Izzy will be on the same team because they're besties and they're bros. Um. I think if I if I understood like the preview for the next episode, I'm pretty sure Matt and Sora are going to be on the same team. Um, I'm going to guess that Joe goes with Matt and Sora. Maybe he's probably going to come with uh, Ty and Izzy. But um, yeah, but I, I yeah, but I I can see an interesting conflict if that's the case with Joe and Matt. Yeah, because. Uh, Joe is really trying hard to be like, I'm the old one. I I, sh- I need to be in charge and stuff. And Matt's just like lone wolf in it over here. Um, not going to listen to anybody, but, you know, unless, you know, it's for his friends. Now he has friends, but he's still being kind of a little shit. But that's just who Matt is. Yeah. Matt's <laughs> angsty McAngst pants. Ugh. Um, uh, but... Did you watch the preview? And we're going to spoil the next episode because, hey, new evolution. Where Garurumon's going to show up. <laughs> it's 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 really, I, like, again, I, I know I keep mentioning I watch this with my wife. Um, it's just, it's funny because <laughs> when things evolve, she doesn't know what any of this is. So it, every new evolution is surprising for her. <laughs> so I told her, I was like, oh, yeah, wait till next week where Garurumon becomes a weird punk rock. God thing. Wolf. <laughs> he, he gets like <laughs> knee he gets like knee pads and, and, and ripped, ripped jeans, jeans. <laughs> and like brass knuckles <laughs> i gotta say out of all of the evolutions in the in the first in the first generation where garurumon is probably one of the funniest ones because it's just so fucking ridiculous so out of place too <laughs> I know, it's like every, like, okay, Greymon turns into a cyborg, uh, Kabuterimon turns into a bigger beetle, uh, Togemon turns into a weird, um... Cactus. Uh, well, no, to- Togemon turns into Lilymon, which is some weird, like, forest fairy oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cactus does, um, yeah. <laughs> where Gururumon is just Gururumon standing on his back legs with pants. And then turn into a <laughs> robot. <laughs> and then he turns into a robot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something that always threw me off as a kid, and I don't know why, is that uh, Metal Greymon is like, is Agumon's uh, ultimate stage, but Metal Garurumon is Gawumon's final stage. <laughs> so it's like, but but the ultimate stage, Agumon's a cyborg in that and a robot in that one, but Dabumon's the robot, I don't know. I was like eight when this show came out, so... Don't don't try to question eight year old JD's logic. <laughs> well, I was eight um, too. I I still find it a little weird. Yeah, I don't. I mean, next to Togemon, Togemon is the se- second weirdest. <laughs> I like Togemon. Well, I like so Togemon simple. too. It's like Togemon then to Lilymon. That's like the weird like 
part. I was See, expecting I mean, a bigger plant, maybe I, a tree. <laughs> I mean, Togemon is kind of, you know, it, that's just kind of how Digimon goes. Is you, it's like how Patamon turns into a buff angel guy, or how Gatamon turns into a sexy angel lady. It's just like one day, yeah. one day you may be a giant horrifying monster, and the next day you're going to be a sexy lady. I mean, that's just how life works. <laughs> I mean that's that's how we that's how everybody is, right? You've had days like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Some day you turn into a, a, a cyborg dinosaur, another day you turn into a giant skeleton dinosaur with a rocket strap on your back. Hell yeah! I wonder if we're gonna see Skull Greymon because he's metal as fuck. I feel like we wouldn't because we already Probably. saw. I, I metal doubt Greymon. it. <laughs> You're- yeah, we, we already got regular Metal Greymon. I don't think we're going to have the weird conflict of, like, Tide being like, you need to evolve, and getting real frustrated with it. So I, I, I'm i pretty sure Skull Greymon's off the off the table, which, you know, it's fine. It's if I remember some stuff that I watch on YouTube correctly, is that that arc, like, the orig- in the original series, it's only supposed to be the island, and that's basically it, but they extended it middle- like halfway through production, uh, TV station liked it so much that they extended it. Oh. So I feel like may, was the crest thingy not in their original vision? Like did they yeah, just add know. it in for padding? And this is the final vision that they that the creators has. Oh, uh, like, where it's a, all it's series. all just more streamlined. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. I guess you could say I guess you could say that um, the whole crest quest was a uh, kind of padding because it's kind of in between bad guy arcs. Like it's like the end of Devimon. The Jedi is like you need to go find the crest to make the Digimon strong. And they're like, okay. Uh, I guess the, I guess the crest quest is kind of like the Edamon arc because um, you got that, and then they have the Myotismon arc. Um. Man, there's a lot of arcs in the first season, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you're right. It is kind of a little more streamlined. Um. I mean, I'm obviously gonna miss the whole, like every ev- everyone gets an episode to like really, uh, earn their crest or because I don't know. It, it just like everyone had to go on like this little journey to find their crest. Um, and like kind of have like this fun little moment. Uh, but I mean, I don't know what it's going to hold for everybody else, but so far with metal gray, it's just like metal gray, got pissed off enough to evolve, <laughs> uh, to, you know, cause it's like he needed, he needed to evolve. They needed to persevere to, to fight metal Tyranimon cause he was being a dick. Yeah, but I, yeah. And I feel like that, I know that I said that. The crest quest was a little bit of a padding, but there's so much development, a like character development, when it comes to like evolving and such. Oh yeah, I, there's, I there's enjoy a lot of... what we have here uh, in the current series. It's just it feel le- this evolution feels less earned compared to uh, the original. I I agree. Yeah. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of like character growth that came along with like finding the crest and then because the thing was is like they had to get the crest and I'm pretty sure that not everyone like evolved the same episode they got the crest in. But well, well, I mean, Ty got his entire like mini arc with the yeah. Skull Greymon. It's Skull Greymon, right? I don't remember the name. Yeah, there's <laughs> yeah, Skull Greymon's the fucked up one. <laughs> um, um, I, honestly, I remember really liking. Uh, Ty's kind of arc during that whole during the whole that whole time because he has the bit where you know he's trying to force Greymon to evolve and he gets the skull Greymon and then um, that breakdown he has when he can't uh, save Sora the first time uh, from Datamon that little robot guy um, and then I'm pretty sure there's that whole bit where he goes to the re- he goes back to the real world for a little bit <laughs> and then has to find his way back um so yeah Ty got a lot of development back then so but yeah 
now that they can just like they don't have to really go on on any quest it's just like they need to get stronger <laughs> and whatever uh and that lets them evolve um it's cool i like it like that yeah metal, metal graymon is like one of my favorite uh digimon in general so it's not it's really fun to see him and like see how badass they made him like he like takes out metal tyranomon like it's nothing like the second he evolves um and it's really good that he actually got to use his rocket arm I, I, you don't see him use that too often i completely forgot that move like i know yeah. that he could shoot his arm out on like on a cable or something it's just don't you see him use it very much he always always uses the chest missiles uh and even they like really amped up his chest missile attack because it's like a fucking bomb goes off when it hits. Um. So yeah. Um. So I I think in terms of like the fights, I really like this episode. Um. It does kind of take a while to get started, just because it is a lot of like the kids trying to figure out uh what they're doing, what they're going to be doing, and you know what what their plan of attack is. Um, is I feel like Izzy kind of conveniences himself into a lot of information, um, but it's just because we know Izzy is a computer nerd. Uh, we just kind of accept that he knows these things. Yeah, <laughs> like he ha- he has like like I get it in the old. Um, well, I, I guess it kind of made sense in the old um, show because Izzy has his laptop and like I can't remember if it was the time where he was in the maze. Uh, when him and Mimi were in the maze or it was the time that um, he went to Andromon City and was like plugging in. But it, it seemed like he had gotten some of the inf- like Digimon information on his onto his computer through his interactions with stuff. But now it's just like, oh, yeah, I can like analyze Digimon and like like an- uh, analyze their weaknesses and uh, make maps and stuff. Um, I do think it's funny. Uh, well, maybe not so funny, but I do think it's kind of a, a cool touch that they're really um, kind of being in line with current technology where like he brings up the hologram of like the map of the area. Um, but then he just like swipes and can like throw things to everyone's digivices. Yeah, I um, like that too. Oh, and to go off of that current technology thing, they're saying that uh, they need like right at the very beginning, they're like looking back at the recording of them running away. It's just a question. Like, we, should, we should be running. Stop recording. I'm just like, who's recording this? <laughs> it's like the same footage from the last episode. It's like, how did you get all these angles? <laughs> but I do, I do like it. It is like a, like a, like it's like it's phone recordings. <laughs> and it's just, you could hear everyone yelling in the background. <laughs> so, um, that's, that's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, this is a this is a good episode. Um, my, my, honestly, my favorite fight is just the Greymon to Metal Greymon Metal Tyranimon fight. Um, that was some good shit right there. I was hyped as fuck as soon as Metal Greymon showed up. Um, is there anything else you uh, want to bring up? Nope. No, I said all I have to say. Okay. Well, uh, guys, there you go. There's our recap for this week. Um, Hopefully we'll have Jeanette back with us next week um, and uh, maybe we'll quickly get her uh, thoughts on um, her, her thoughts on this episode when she comes back. Uh, but uh, before we go, just want to remind everybody to go ahead and follow us on Facebook and Twitter or join our discord. If you feel like getting in contact with us, uh, letting us know what you think about the episode um, and, or, you know, the Digimon show that's going on or really just anything honestly um and if you're not already we're available on most streaming major streaming platforms so uh, you can take us on the go uh, but until next week uh stay safe and we will catch you all again then bye <laughs>